I hope you guys are ready to save lots of money today because in this vlog I'll tell you exactly how I bought my computer for two thousand dollars off mm -hmm. two thousand dollars worth of a discount and we are not just talking about a simple computer we're talking about the flagship of all pre-builds the dwelling of 64 gigs of RAM and not just one but two RTX 2080 super overclock ready graphic cards allow me to introduce you to my almost brand new Alienware Aurora R11. First, let's see the actual worth of my computer. We will navigate to Dell's website and we will customize this Aurora R11 model. I can already tell that it's not going to be an apples to apples comparison because my processor is better than this one. So if we take a quick look in the actual specs of my computer, you can see that my processor is a 10,900K and it goes up to 5.3 gigahertz. While the processor we've selected on Dell's website is not as powerful because it only goes up to 5.2 gigahertz and it's a 10,900F. So just keep in mind that my processor worth more than this. So let's scroll down. We will select Windows 10 Pro because that's the Windows I have. And the tricky part is actually in the video card section. As you guys can see, Dell is only selling single graphics now. Even if we scroll down and try really hard finding their dual graphic cards, you're not going to find it anymore, at least in the R11 models. So the closest option to select to what I actually have is a single NVIDIA GeForce Ray Tracing 2080 Super graphic card. And we'll just keep in mind that it costs $1,000. And we will add those thousand dollars in the very, very end of our sum. Okay, so let's select it. In terms of memory, I have the 64 gigabyte um, HyperX Fury at 2933 megahertz. It could have been better, but it's pretty damn good. So let's keep scrolling down. In terms of hard drive, I have two terabytes of SSD and two terabytes of HDD. In terms of cooling, I have the liquid cooling option. I got a keyboard. I got a mouse. <laughs> not using them, they're not that good. I also have a killer Wi-Fi, as well as a one-year warranty. And I believe that's it. And just to double check if my specs are matching the actual selection, let's have a quick look. So we already talked about the processor. You can see my liquid cooling. If we scroll up, you can see the RAM um, as well as the storage. If we go up a little bit, we can even see the dual graphic cards. And another detail that I almost forgot is the NVLink SLI bridge. So let's go back to the receipt and add these on. And actually, before we do that, I've noticed a slight discrepancy on my uh, wireless LAN for some reason. I assure you, it's a killer Wi-Fi. It's not this type. If we go to my uh, device manager, if we go to my network adapters, you can see that I have the killer Wi-Fi indeed. And since Dell has a sale going on, we are going to disregard the sale price because the sale is not forever. And we are going to refer to the starting price. To this amount, we will add a thousand bucks for the graphic card. And since I have two of them, we'll need to also account for the NVLink bridge to combine their power. In terms of processor, I don't know exactly how much more my processor is worth, so we'll just ignore it, that's okay, which evaluates my computer at almost 6,000 Canadian dollars before taxes. However, if you take a look in my receipt in what I actually paid for it, you'll see a completely different amount of money. So you're probably wondering, how is it that instead of paying 6,000 bucks, I only paid a fraction of the price? And you can probably see a hint on this page in these two beautiful, beautiful words, but let me elaborate. So a few months back, my old computer broke apart in my hands. I told you guys all about it and I needed to find a brand new computer ASAP. And my initial thoughts was to buy a $2,500 to a $3,000 worth of a computer with specs that are much more simple than what I got right now. The problem was that none of the graphic cards and none of the CPUs I was hoping to get was available for me. And I kind of cheaped out on getting the older generation stuff 
just because they'll become obsolete quite fast, and if I'm already spending over $2,000 on a computer, I might as well get the parts I want. So I didn't really have much choice. If I wanted to get any of the newer graphic cards with the ray tracing, I absolutely had to get a pre-built. Now, the one thing you guys should know about me is that I really like good value. I rarely buy something when it's full price. I always look for a good deal. So I think it was around 10 p.m. where I was very upset and angry and almost crying. And then I see my spouse getting all excited, almost screaming with joy. And I'm like, what? Did you find the 3090 or something? What just happened? And he's like, no, I found a computer with 30% discount that I think you're gonna like. And then he shows me the posting along with the pricing and the specs. I take a really good look at it and I tell him, no, 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 no. There's no chance in hell I'm buying this computer. I mean, who needs all that? I am just a simple folk. I'm not Elon Musk. I'm not launching rockets into space. I'm making YouTube videos. This is an overkill. But then he convinced me. <laughs> so I got it. <laughs> and the funny part is, I only had two hours to decide if I'm taking this deal or not. Because the deal ended at 12 o'clock at night and I discovered all about this computer only at 10 o'clock. So needless to say, I am very happy that my spouse convinced me and I got this beautiful, beautiful beast. Now you guys are probably wondering how come it was on 30% discount? What is wrong with your computer woman? And I can't really say there's anything wrong with it. I just got it refurbished certified. Now, regular refurbished, I wouldn't recommend you to get a computer because you will probably not get any warranty and some of the parts might be broken. However, refurbished certified is a completely different thing. Certified products are being returned directly to the manufacturer. The manufacturer makes sure that all the parts are working and the quality of make is exactly the same as any other brand new product that's leaving the factory. So essentially, the only difference between a refurbished certified computer and a brand new computer is that the certified one visited somebody else's house for about a week or two and then it was returned back to the manufacturer. That's it. And I'm going to repeat this once again. The only reason why I felt so comfortable spending 4,000 bucks on a refurbished computer is because it's a refurbished certified computer. If it was just regular refurbished without any warranty, don't you dare spending your money on it. So if you guys are in a search for a good computer, if you're struggling with the exact same situation I struggle with, I highly recommend you guys to at least take a peek at the refurbished section on Best Buy, you might be surprised with how good of a deal you'll find. Just as much as I was, like 30% discount, what? Now I'm in no way associated with neither Best Buy or Dell or Alienware. I wish I was, but I'm not. I'm just sharing my story and hopefully this might help some of you guys. And if you, by any chance, found a better deal than mine, definitely write it down in the comments below. You need to share your wisdom with the rest of the world and make it a much better place. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you'll find the computer of your dreams for the price of your dreams. Until then, I'll see you next time.